How's everyone doing today? All right, happy Monday, York. Come on, let's get excited. We're here for a fun announcement. What a great way to kick off this week. Uh, again, happy Monday to everyone. We are gonna get started. My name is Kevin Schreiber, President and CEO of the York County Economic Alliance, and we are extremely excited to be here to formally launch our Bloom Business Empowerment Center. All right. Who is the designated wooer over there? Thank you. Uh, in 2018, we launched the Yoko Bloom Business Grant Program. And since then, we have consistently evolved Bloom to focus not simply on business grants, but as a hub of wraparound small business support and resources. However, these past two years have demonstrated the need for much greater enhanced focus and resources to support our small businesses throughout all of York County. Foremost, our county's economic action plan also showed, unfortunately, where York lags the state and national average in business startups and growth, and that is particularly pronounced in those businesses owned by women and persons of color. Further, over these past years, community-wide efforts like the Confronting Racism Coalition, of which we have many members here, and Nicole Schaefer, who chairs that, and uh, created uh, entities and created initiatives like our economic equity plan. And our team has been on the front lines of much needed support to businesses during the COVID pandemic. Approximately $30 million in federal, state, and county-sponsored support has been administered by our team, resulting in over 1,900 grants awarded, predominantly to small businesses, with 38% of those grants being awarded and funded to businesses owned by women, and 34% reaching businesses owned by individuals of color, and 7% owned by veterans. These challenges that we face as a community pave the way for vast opportunities. All of this led us to continuously refine and develop the Bloom Business Empowerment Center with small business support and resources all under one roof, under one brand of Bloom, and with the essential strategic goals of greater entry points for capital, opportunity, education, and resources for any small business across all of York County, from Dillsburg to Hanover to our city to Delta, all parts in between. None of this would be possible without so many partners, and that's evident by just the, the turnout this morning. Uh, we could not do this without members of our civic community, our elected leaders, and here with us today are several, and I'll ask you to stand up as I recognize you. Uh, this is in no particular order. I think it was in the order of your arrival, and we scribbled names down. Uh, but we have the ever punctual and first to arrive York City Councilwoman Betsy Buckingham. We have Representation from our governor's office with Grace Dunnigan. <laughs> State Representative Carol Hill Evans. <laughs> we have York City Mayor Michael Helfrick. <laughs> I think we have York City Councilwoman Aquina Washington. <laughs> if not, we're clapping for her in spirit. We also have our uh, representation, our former mayor, and now with DCED, our Department of Community Economic Development, Ms. Kim Bracey. And we have a representative from Congressman Smucker's office. And representative from Keith Gillespie's office. Did I miss anyone at all? Anyone on local government or school boards? We got a couple of those. Let's give a round of applause for local government and school boards. And of course, our own York County Economic Alliance Board of Directors who have supported the strategic development of concepts such as Bloom from inception, again with the economic equity plan from Confronting Racism Coalition to launch based upon the premise in our economic action plan that suggests your county can do better. So let's dedicate resources, capacity, and dollars to do so. From our board of directors, who you'll hear from shortly, we have our chairman, Jeffrey Mullen. We have the also punctual Reverend Mark Kearse, and we have Mr. Honori Perez over here. I'd be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to our past chairwoman, uh, Ms. Claire Forbush over here. We also have members of our York Business Improvement District Authority. Kate Hines is here and Honori as well. Okay, did I miss anyone else? All right, now that we got those thank yous out of the way, how about a round of applause for everyone else that came out today? Thank you. So, today we are particularly psyched to make three announcements. 
First and foremost, that the Bloom Business Empowerment Center is now live, offering business grants, loans, fellowships, mentorships, classes, and many more opportunities across your county. A one-stop shop for our small businesses. And secondly, with over 30 million in support that has been deployed in 16 months, our team has been busy, working with a host of partners, many of you represented in this room today, but none of our team have been more busy than Sully Pinos. Yes. <laughs> Suli embodies servant leadership. She is an empathetic leader who has committed much of herself to helping others. She is a 10-year resident of York City by way of Brooklyn who found her way to York and has made it a home. And she consistently works towards the betterment of our community each and every day. Whether it was office hours on Saturdays and Sundays to help grant applicants, launching weekly Zoom classes Thursday evenings, walking borough blocks or city streets countywide to elevate awareness of services, or setting up tables at community events countywide, her energy, optimism, and desire to assist others all embodies the spirit of our Bloom Business Empowerment Center. This is why we could think of no reason and no better person to lead the Bloom Business Empowerment Center as its first executive director. I'd like to invite Suli up, and I will defer our third announcement for her to share, but folks, please help me welcome and congratulate our Bloom Business Empowerment Center Executive Director, Ms. Suli Pinos. Good morning, everyone. Such enthusiasm here in the room. Thank you all for joining us bright and early on a Monday morning. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you to the board. Thank you to the team that I had them on a list, but it's really easy to spot them because they're the team that's standing right behind everyone to free up the seats because of the amazing turnout. So thank you to everyone on the team for making this possible because the support, the outreach to businesses would not be possible without each and every single one of you being an ambassador and an advocate to support our small businesses across the county. Um, and again, I am so thrilled and honored to continue to be able to elevate the work being done with the Bloom Business Empowerment Center and this lovely backdrop that we have now. <laughs> um, we know entrepreneurship can be a pathway for economic independence, stability, and upward mobility for individuals. And all of that can have a meaningful, positive economic impact for York County communities. And Bloom Business Empowerment Center will seek to achieve just that. It will provide grants, it will provide loans and technical assistance and ongoing outreach and support to small businesses across York County with a, strate a strategic focus to provide grants or greater access to resources and capital for businesses located within low to moderate income communities, as well with the strategic and intentional goal of supporting women-owned businesses and minority-owned businesses as part of an integrated capital strategy. Bloom currently, many of you may be familiar with some of its resources from our Bloom grants to our Bloom small business classes. Um, and those individuals with perfect attendance have been made eligible to apply for a Bloom grant, which we'll share more information on that later. Uh, but from there, it's our job to continue that engagement, remain connected, open lines of communication, continue to build and build on the trust that we've established with, with businesses all across the county from all different makes, backgrounds, industries, and focuses and sizes with an overture for them to return into other Bloom small business resources that we have available. And perhaps at that point, of the, the business might be ready for a small business loan. It's a goal for us that that business continues along their journey and we walk that with you in hopes that someday you are in need of, for, you are in need of growth capital or who knows, perhaps someday you're returning for assistance to secure a, a real estate or a multi-million dollar loan. And as that business owner thrives in their community and thrives among its peers, we also hope that that business owner will return that favor and, and give back to another business and slowly build on the cycle of mentorship. And this, business, this journey is certainly not linear, but if you ask any business owner in the room, their business life cycle and journey is also not a straight line or path. But that's why Bloom is, is created and is launching today to provide the additional support and resources and to be, be with those business owners along that journey. With all of you as community partners, resources, whether you've been in the classes, whether you've connected with another business owner in any other engagement, or you've uh, tuned into webinars to learn more about the topic, you are a partner and you're a valued resource and we can't thank you enough. We've heard directly from business owners about their needs and their hope that Bloom can be, and we hope that Bloom can be that guiding light for them. And perhaps the most perfect bookend to today's announcement 
and maybe the most important, is that we are excited to launch Bloom today with all of you with over 1.7 million in capital to deploy. That funding comes by way of committed community partners, the Powder Mill Foundation, the J. William Wareheim Foundation, the York County Community Foundation's Re Racial Equity Fund, and the YCEA and its board of directors who saw fit to support this, this funding from their own reserve as well. Through a suite of services, the Bloom Business Empowerment Center will include op more opportunities for grants, loans, fellowships, networking, mentorships, and more. And to date, with our Bloom grants, we've been able to award over 290,000 to 104 small businesses across York County, downtown York, women-owned businesses, startup businesses, and graduates from our small business classes, with over 57% of those grants going to businesses owned by persons of color, and over 65% of those grants going to businesses owned by women. As we know, women are establishing businesses at double the rate, so thank you uh, to all of our entrepreneurs. Just last year, we enrolled 175 participants through the small business classes, um, hosted in partnership with Susquehanna Score, Fulton Bank, Crispus Attics, the York chapter of the NAACP, and Shippensburg Small Business Development Center, with over 50% of the classes comprised of women and individuals of color. And we have welcomed over 600 in attendance of our business series that meets every month in the past three years alone. We are proud to be here at the Sarah Ellen event venue, another women-owned business, um, owned by a Bloom Business Development graduate and a recent WBCO Bloom grant recipient, Lauren Days. So please, uh, uh, please welcome Lauren as she comes in to say a few words about her business. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Um, oh, I already didn't prepare for this. <laughs> um, so as Sully mentioned, I have recently won the WBCO grant a few months ago. I've attended the Bloom classes online. Actually had perfect attendance. It's, I'm just so excited for Bloom to launch. Um, Sarah Ellen is named after my grandmother, who just recently passed. Um, so starting a venue, she loved life, she loved to party. Um, growing up, we always had parties together, she always invited family over, so that was something I wanted to continue and honor her before she passed. Um, and becoming an entrepreneur, the ups and downs, the hills and valleys, the obstacles, and launching in the pandemic, it's been a crazy journey. Um, but the assistance of and support of the community in York, especially the Bloom, uh, it's, it's been amazing. And I don't think I could have gotten where I am today without that support and the support of the community in general, especially Sully. Like, she, she's amazing. Like, anything, like, I can't say anything else. She's, she's amazing. And I, oh man. thank you. Just thank you for everything. Um, I, okay, I'm done. I can't <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. All right. Thank you, Lauren, and her incredibly supportive husband, Terrence, who I know is out looking for chocolate frosted strawberries later this month uh, due to a request from Lauren. Um, but in other exciting news, both are getting ready to reopen their amazing and delicious restaurant, Skillet to Plate, just a few blocks over at the Susquehanna Commerce Center. And that ribbon cutting is February 22nd? Yes. Okay, awesome. We hope to see you all there to support them, get some delicious, you know, some delicious meals, celebrate a belated Valentine's Day or anything you wish to celebrate. But go support them and support our small businesses and restaurants. So again, we are so, so excited uh, to, to be here with all of you. And as I shared some information about our Bloom Small Business Grants, also wanted to share that from, a, from the classes that we held last year, those individuals that achieved perfect attendance were invited to apply for a grant. And this morning, we also thought it would be an amazing opportunity to announce those grant recipients, celebrate them, and uh, share again what Bloom can do in our, in our community. So we are excited to announce 11 grant recipients, which brings our total to the over 290 and over, uh, over 104,000. So if I say your name and your business, I know not everyone could join us this morning, but please 
stand. And then uh, our elected officials afterwards, we could do a picture maybe here on the side. So uh, Ms. Tanquisha Parker, Define, Div Define Divine Beauty Salon. I know she couldn't join us today. Uh, Meredith Crayley from Barking Boys Bakery. Yvonne Brock, my choice to choice to change ink. <laughs> Mr. Fidel from Freeway Consulting Services. We also have Eva Haynes from Unique Designs. Josh Santiago. Oh. <laughs> Eva, are you here? Sorry. Josh Santiago from CMP Media. Miss Margaret Eccles Ray with Rising Queens LLC. <laughs> Mary Worley from Worley Automotive. All the way in the back. Thank you. Louis Lindsay from Family First Management. I don't think he's joined us today. Lenise Barnes, Rose Tax Services. And she's not here because it's the start of tax season, so she's super busy. <laughs> and Webner and Carolina Granadero from Unlimited Welding and Fabrication. So let's give a round of applause to all of our grant recipients. <laughs> Once again, our organization's incredibly grateful for the partners who have worked with us along the way and a board of directors who believe in the mission of supporting entrepreneurs across our county. To share additional remarks, please welcome to the podium Chair of the YCEA Board of Directors, Jeff Vermeulen. Thank you, Suli. Thank you all for being here. Um, and I really appreciate you being a buffer between Kevin and me, because if you've ever followed Kevin, it's, no, it's not an easy act to follow, particularly on a Monday morning. I just can't match that energy, but I appreciate uh, you all being here and all of your attention. So first, I'd like to start by congratulating everyone on this unique milestone, not just for the organization, but for our community and for the small business owners who received grants, what an opportunity to help advance your business and your careers. Congratulations. Can we get another round of applause? My goodness. <laughs> would, would be remiss, too, uh, if I didn't express our, uh, our pride and our excitement um, for the work that's been done to date by our entire team to support businesses across our community. We are particularly proud of the work performed over these past challenging years of COVID. It just makes everything that much more difficult. I'd go so far as to say that the culture of the YCAA to be a trusted resource was on full display through the pandemic, and that has been no more evident than in your work over these last couple of years in, in preparation for Bloom. It is fitting, and as a natural progression, that you lead what you helped create. As Executive Director Suli, you will be leading the Bloom Empowerment Center, and if you know Bloom, you all know Suli, and you know her heart and passion are in this, and it is very, for, very much real. I represent not only the YCEA today, but also your College of Pennsylvania. In my day job, I get to serve the college as, as Assistant Vice President for External Relations. It is in that dual capacity that I share my enthusiasm for this milestone moment. The Bloom Business Empowerment Center showcases the alignment of resources in our community, including your college's J.D. Brown Center for Entrepreneurship and other partners, including Mantech, the Manufacturers Association, Main Street Hanover, the PSU Launchbox, Tech Rev, White Rose Ventures, I think I saw Martin, Braided River Collective, Community First Fund, The Grotto, Ben Franklin Technology Partners, our York County Banking Partners, the City of York Administration, the York County Commissioners and Planning Commission, our Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, represented in our Governor's Office, the Delegation, DCED, and dozens of other agencies. The volume of partners and the power behind this center is a testament to the need in our community. You heard the data from Suli and from Kevin. And folks, this organization is just getting started. I certainly have to thank our four fellow board members, along with board members from the past, who really, Claire, well, I don't think we're standing here without you, so thank you. Facts. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's facts. Doug, Doug Berman, Claire, Bill Yanovich, who was supposed to be with us here, I, we stand on, on their shoulders. I'm proud to play a modest role in this organization and continue the foundational work that they set forth along with our team to bring us to this day. We are able to align partners, develop this mission, and help small businesses grow and thrive here in York County because of the philanthropic support of our community, especially the Powder Mill Foundation, the Wareheim Foundation, 
and the York County Community Foundation. Folks, we've got a great team, but this simply doesn't go without resources, so thank you very much. At this moment, I would like to invite to the podium representatives from the organizations that are here with us today. We have Michael Haiti from Powder Mill Foundation. We have Adrian Buckner and Lisa Kennedy from the York County Community Foundation. And as I mentioned, Wareheim, but uh, Mr. Dave Meckley couldn't be here. But if, if, if Michael, Adrian, and Lisa could join us, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Good morning. Wow, what a great way to start a week, huh? This is terrific. Congratulations to all the recipients. We're, this is what we dreamed about when we first started the thinking about funding this, and uh, you're making it happen. So, so there goes my screen. Um, so I'm Michael Haiti. I'm the president and CEO of Powder Mill Foundation. Um, it's a particular joy to play a modest part in ensuring Mr. Appel's legacy lives on um, in this city and in this county. I've no doubt in my mind that he would be very supportive of the Bloom Initiative really what he believed in, new business owners. In part, he would have wanted to help entrepreneurs and small businesses be successful, but more so, he would have supported the passion that people have to realize their dream into a business and leave their own lasting imprint on the community, most notably our city. He would have been quick to support Soli, who would love you, um, and would see in her optimism and energy that our city remains in good hands of a next generation of young professionals. And I see a number of other ones around this room today, which is great. It's a small part that Powder Mill can play to ensure Bloom is successful and that resources exist for entrepreneurs. We're glad to join the Wareheim Foundation and the Community Foundation in this effort. It's a small part we can play to support the success of our city, our county, and the passionate people who are making it their own. Congratulations again. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for the opportunity, Soli, to be here, and Kevin, to represent um, the partnership and the many people that's in this room. Uh, Melissa and I joked around, this, this room is the who's who of York. If something went off in here, we'd be, <laughs> we'd be in trouble. But I wanted to just really say that as a part of um, the Racial Equity Fund that has been launched in 2021 through the York County Community Foundation, I'm excited that Bloom was one of the um, few uh, opportunities and grants that we were able to award this year. So this is an exciting opportunity. I look forward to the work that's being done. Um, we know that the history of YCA has been amazing in our community and we are looking forward to see what um, Bloom can do and with just the opportunity to be a part of that um, in this process with the Racial Equity Grant. We thank you. Good luck to you. Good morning, good morning. So again, I'm Adrian Buckner. I serve as the Vice, uh, the Vice President of Grants and Community Engagement, as well as the Chief Diversity Officer at York County Community Foundation. That is a very long title. The business card is ridiculous. I'm like, that's a lot to say. Uh, but we're glad to be here. We're too glad about this partnership. As an individual who owns a business, a small business myself, I understand the need to have resources and the need for support. So to be able to be a part of such an awesome uh, endeavor and ensure that businesses down here in York will have the opportunity to have mentorship and resources. That is phenomenal, and that's what helps to grow and boost the economy. So again, we're glad to be a part of this. We're looking forward to everything that this has to offer. Anything that I can do to help be supportive, um, please let us know at the foundation. But I am excited. Congratulations, and I know this is just the beginning of something awesome. So thank you for having us, and we're glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you all for your remarks, and especially for your support. And uh, at this time, we'll bring Sully back to the mic. All right. Thank you, Jeff. And again, the Bloom Business Empowerment Center is, in fact, blooming. It's officially launched. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that laugh. <laughs> I'd be remiss if we didn't plug our upcoming Bloom programming grant rounds, which are all included on this fantastic grant card. And we have notepads, pens, and swags by the lovely Katie Mahoney. 
Um, all of this information is also available online on our webpage, yceapa.org slash bloom. And again, that website is also accessible in various languages. So please go out and visit, check out the information, contact anyone from the team if you, need any, if you have any questions. Now, again, I'll leave with another ask, or I'll, I'll end with another ask for all you all here. Please help us share this information far and wide. Again, this is a countywide, the Bloom Business Empowerment Center is countywide. It's not just here in the city, but we are here to serve and provide resources for businesses, Hanover, Delta, Dillsburg, you name it, it's York County, we're there to help. And it's incumbent on all of us to go out and do our best to help our community and share this information. And you are all there for now Bloom ambassadors, so thank you for um, being part of that. Um, a few weeks ago, I presented at the York Rotary, and that was the York Bloomers. So you're the Bloom Ambassadors. So we're evolving the titles as the time progresses. So we have a very fantastic and dedicated team that are all here to help you. Again, they're in the back. Silas, Katie, Casey, Megan, I'm trying to name everyone. Brendan, Matthew, David, Brittany, Marlena, John. Really, a lot of our team is here. Um, so we are all here to help. Please, please, please reach out to us if you have any questions. Kyle, oh my gosh, you're right there. Okay. <laughs> Again, they're just popping up like little. Uh, so with that, we won't take up much more of your time. We thank you so much for joining us. This has been a while coming, and thank you for being part of it from the very beginning. And the Bloom Business Empowerment Center is officially launched. So thank you all, and we'll end by asking our grant recipients and our elected officials to please just join us here to the side. We'll do some pictures. Um, so. Thank you all.